What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Just been doing some mining down here in, well, the mine. Um, I did want to show you the mine because it's um it's coming out pretty cool. Like, I'm not just mining, like, randomly down here. I'm actually putting in floors and stuff. Uh, so this is what I got going on down here. This is the second floor. I'm not really sure what number floor this is, honestly. This is not the main floor, though. The main floor is up here. This is the way I come in, right? So this is what I got going on with the mine. It's pretty cool. I just have to, you know, take some time and, you know, upgrade those things, those floors and ceilings, depending on what floor you're on. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we need a lot of iron. Okay. I need iron for money. I need iron for spikes. I need iron for everything. Okay. So I've been doing a good amount of mining, not a, like a ridiculous amount of mining, but a decent amount of mining. I've been turning some of it into uh, turret ammo to sell. And I've been turning some of it into iron ingots. And let me show you what I got going on up here. Oh, I'm all, out of, I'm all out of stamina. All out of stamina. Okay. Right here, I have just an absolute metric butt ton of concrete being made. Uh, I'm not specced into intellect, so this is going to take a little bit more time than usual. So we're just going to let it do its thing. Um, over here, I've made a bunch of spikes. Um, we will eventually spike the hell out of this base. There's two ways I can defend this base. I can use spikes or I can use turrets. I think I'm just going to use spikes for now. And we'll see where we go from there. I'm also going to modify this bad boy. And Iron Breaker. Iron Breaker does nothing for this, right? Because Iron Breaker just gives you iron. And you don't get, yeah, 15 damage against iron. You don't use this against iron. This thing right here uh, makes it degrade slower. So I'm going to take that out and put the Grave Digger mod in there. And with that, I should be able to one-shot the concrete and cobblestone bundles that are, you know, in the POIs. Um, this is all the iron I got coming out of here. Um, I'm also making bullet casings. We're going to make some darts as well. I'm going to need to, some darts for Horde Knight. I started turning wood into wooden logs um, to, you know, cook stuff because it's just a little bit easier. And we're going to dump this stuff off in here. And I'm trying to think if that brings you guys just about up to speed. I think it does. Um, we are going, like I said, we're going to be working on the main base here. And the first thing I want to do is make a garage. So I went ahead and got some lights out here because I knew I'd be working during the night. And my plan is to make this the garage entrance or exit, depending on which way you look at it. All right. And then this is going to be another entrance slash exit. So like if I'm coming down the road, I can pull in here and I don't have to turn around. I could just pull right out this way, which will be really nice. And we're also going to have a little bit of a three lane hallway down here. I don't really know what this is going to be for, um, but I'll probably make this an entrance. I don't, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but um, the first thing I got to do is dig out all of this all of this uh, clay. And that's um, really nice because I am going to need the clay. And we're so close to being able to one-shot it, but not quite there. Um, I did level up while I was mining, and I'm going to hold off on the... I'm, I'm going to hold off on... Sorry. There we go. I'm going to hold off on where I spend this because I've got a couple different ways I can go with this. Okay? I could either save up three points. I, I probably should save up three points because what I'm eventually going to do when I respec is I'm going to put one point in the intellect, two into better bartering, buy the you know, the super expensive respec tonic potion drink. I don't know what you want to call it. And then I'll respec. So I'm going to save three points. And then once I'm up to three points, I will consider those three points unspendable. I would not spend them because I really want to do that respec sometime soon. The other way I could go is if I don't want to, if I don't really care about saving up for the better bartering, I could just start putting points into things like uh, mother load to get more stuff while mining, boomstick, start building up strength for boomstick. Um, I could also put some more points in the demolitions expert. I think I'm going to save up those three points and just uh, like just kind of like tell myself those three points don't exist and then start really trying to make as much money as as possible. Um, this is my trader stash. You know, not really that much stuff in here. I only have one purple item. This isn't going to mean this is not going to net me that much money. But um, yeah, well, I've got some. These robotic turrets sell for eighteen hundred. I thought they sold for two thousand. See, I'm so used to having points and better bartering that usually sells for two thousand. Because I have points in better bartering. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal, people. All right, there's certain doors you can make, right? And I usually make power doors. These steel garage doors are usually the ones I like to make, okay? But these aren't going to work because I don't have the recipe for them. So there's other doors that aren't powered. And there's these roll-up doors, right? These roll-up doors are really, really interesting. Um, I'm going to make the 5x4. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me take a look at the power doors. 5x3. That's 5 wide by 3 high. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to remember that because basically, eventually, I'm going to want these steel garage doors. Uh, I'm, I want to replace. I'm going to want to replace these doors 
with the steel garage doors and they're five wide and these are four wide. There's nothing I could do about it. I'm just gonna have to break out the blocks when it's time, but I am going to use these roll up doors, five by fours. These things are really interesting. Um, I actually went into the cheat menu, spawned some in and kind of played around them. Just this, I didn't like keep anything when I was done learning about them. I just threw them away. Um, but I did go ahead and place them down. They're really interesting. This block right here, when I went to place it down, see this block right here? When I placed the garage door down, I couldn't place this block after the fact. You have to place the block beforehand. So that was something really interesting that I, I needed to know. And that makes me very, very happy. Um, and yeah, so we're going to have these over here. All right. And they don't quite line up exactly the way I want them to. But it's pretty much the best way I can do it. Well, I could probably move these back a little bit. Or I could just leave them. I don't really know. Also, I was getting really hungry and running out of food. Now, I did have a lot of food, you know, resources to make food. So this is what this is what I'm making right here. Um, give me a little bit. Was that two minutes? Wait, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn those springs. Yeah, okay, that's gonna work out just fine. All right, so we got two more minutes. So we got four of the sham chowder coming out, and this is what I've got made. I've got six chili dogs, three fish tacos, eight gumbo stew. Look at the food on that gumbo stew, man. It's amazing. Uh, I've got five spaghetti, two tuna fish gravy. This, oh my god, the spaghetti's huge too. Uh, and then we've got sham chowder. Now, those things are really big. I'm not going to want to eat those unless I get my food down to a certain amount. So if my food would have to be about... Oh, goodness. It'd have to be about 20 <laughs> to make that spaghetti worth it. So that, yeah. You know, as you level up, your food, your max food goes up. So once that gets really high, maybe the spaghetti's a little bit better. But the thing is, if I only need 100 food and I eat the spaghetti, 12, 22 of that is kind of wasted. Although I think it's, I think the buff stays up there. It does help you a little bit after the fact, but still, um, I don't like eating food when, unless I really absolutely have to. All right. So we're going to have to wait 20 minutes on that. So let's take a look at what we got going over here. Yeah. We're making a bunch more iron and that is still cooking in. Um, now we're going to do darts. Okay. That's all looking pretty good. So we're just waiting for the, yeah, we're just waiting for that. I don't know if I want to upgrade all these right now. Yeah, I think I will, actually. Yeah, let's start upgrading stuff. I think that's pretty good for everything over here. I think the next thing we need to do is come over this way. Now, this is... Eventually, I'm going to dig all of this out. None of this is going to be off the bottom layer. So, that means we need to dig this out right now. And put the blocks all the way down. Because, you know, I don't want them falling if I try and dig them out later. Like that. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. All right, well... It is what it is, people. I don't know why I didn't think that would fall. I just wasn't paying attention. Whatever. All right, so we got that there, that there. And then we just need to dig these out. And we're going to come across here. I was debating if I want to do a looting video today. I was like, man, like, I, I want, I've been wanting to do a building video here for a long time. And I just, you know, I keep pushing it back because there's so many things I need to get out in the world. And I was thinking, well, I just got the... Uh, the cement mixer. Let's do a building video. Um, I really wanted the nail gun before I started doing a building video because the nail gun will upgrade so much faster and it's just irritating like upgrading with anything else. But, you know, th there's nothing you can do about it. I just, I just I had to do the building video. So is that thing all the way down? It is not. So this thing needs to get dug down to there. Okay. And it's going to come out there. And then we just need to dig the rest of this out. I freaking... Stamina, man. All right, there's one other thing I want to do before we before we continue. All right, so whenever I'm, like, mining and stuff, this is where the enemies seem to come in. So I'm going to do this. And this. Now, do I want to break this out? You know what? I think I want to wrench that, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and wrench this. I would never do this in real life. You know what this is, right? It's an air conditioner. <laughs> Although I probably without like electricity properly, I guess you, you don't have air conditioning anyway. Although I do have electricity with my generator. Um, I am not a fan of the heat. So in reality, I would never break an air conditioner. <laughs> I'd rather die. I'd rather the zombies eat my face off than me be like sitting in the heat. Just can't deal with that. Okay, here we are. And I'm digging everything down to this point because this is where I want like, you know, uh, the base of my base to be. The base of my base. The base of my house. We're gonna call it. We're gonna put some spikes down here, not like too crazy. Just put a you know put a few down. Hopefully, um, it'll take care of any any riffraff that comes in, causes any trouble. 
Digging this clay is really annoying and it's taking a long time and I'm thinking, why are you doing this to yourself? But then I'm thinking, you know what? You need clay, you know? You, you absolutely need clay in this game. You can't do anything without clay. So what you want to do, if you're going to be efficient, is you're going to find a spot where you dig clay that is helping you build as well as gathering you clay. Or do um, bury treasure is also another good way to get clay in an efficient way. Because if you just go out and, you, and, you, and you're just digging clay in random spots just to get clay, you're really not doing yourself any favors, you know? So this is definitely the way to go. You know, I don't think I'm going to put a roof on this thing today. I think it might look pretty cool without a roof, to be honest. Um, I, maybe I won't put a roof on it at all. No, I'll probably put a roof on it. No, I will. It's a garage. It's got to be inside. But for, t for this video, I will not put a roof on it. Or maybe I will. Probably won't, though. <laughs> I change my mind 50 times a day. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, one thing I do want to do today, though, is since I'm building, I also want to check out the other traders. I think the first trader was the only one I went to for day 16. Um, and it would be a nice, you know, it would break up the, the episode really nice to go visit another trader. But this is what I'm looking at right here. Um, we're going to put these in like so. Got some shutter doors. All right. And then we're going to go ahead. Am I really going to upgrade this? I kind of want to put down the... I kind of want to put down the door before I actually go upgrading everything. Yeah. Definitely. You know what? I think now's a good time to, to go. To go to the traders. Because I've got like like another three or four minutes. Or man, I don't know, maybe like two minutes by now. Um, and I've got another 22 minutes on the other door. So it's a good time to go to the trader. Yeah. I've got one minute left on that one. 22 on that one. And this is all looking pretty good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let me see what I got to sell to the trader. Going to kind of drop some stuff off up here. And let's see what we got down here in the in the old trader bin. After we drop off our tools. So that should all be good. We'll put that in there. That. 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 Uh, that. And that. All right, this would be good enough. Right, so we're going to take all this stuff and we got it all in our inventory, which is great. Now, am I going to be able to do something else with this or the pistol? I think the pistol... Oh, the pistol's got three items. Okay. Well, let me see if there's... A, see, I'm not sure what I can put in the pistol. There's certain things you can put in, certain things you can't. I never really know. You know what I mean? Um, a flashlight? But that laser sight mod might, might, be, block, might be a thing to block the flashlight. Um, helmet light, helmet light, helmet light, helmet light. Yeah, I don't see any for... Okay, you know one thing I think I could put on it? Nope, I already have a trigger group. I don't think there's much more I could put on this pistol. I know there is things I could put on the pistol, but I just don't know what. So let's take a look at the chest item. Now, the chest item, I could definitely put something else on, but can I put something on I have right now? It does not look like it. But, 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 I could put on that insulator mod. Remember I got that insulator mod? Yep, that right there. Cloth, polymer, duct tape, and sewing kits. Cloth, polymer, duct tape, and sewing kits. Cloth, polymer, duct tape, and sewing kits. Okay, I'm going all the things I'm not supposed to be on. Cloth, polymer, duct tape, and sewing kits. I don't have a lot of sewing kits. That's a problem. I was going to uh, make... Okay, so anytime I go into the snow biome, I have to put on this hooded sweatshirt. Now, I don't mind switching out the hooded sweatshirt. The only thing is it's kind of annoying... Because every time I switch out the hooded sweatshirt, I have to remove the mod and put it in the other item. But you know what? I was going to make another po double pocket mod and put it in the BDU chest. So that way when I switched them out, I didn't have to switch this stuff. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to keep on the hooded sweatshirt. I haven't gotten hot yet. If I don't get hot, then there's no reason to put on the BDU. It's that simple. So let's go ahead and bang that bad boy. Oh, God. we got to wait 22 minutes. I could stop it. I just don't have enough room in my inventory. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a couple things in here. We will stop that. Door. Five by four. And there we go. Alright, cool. We'll put that other one down when we get back. So modify. And there we go. We've got a full chest item. Let me see if there's something else I can use on my pistol. Alright, I was wrong. I did hit all the traders. Because I'm recognizing this guy's stuff. I must have went to Trader 2 and 3. I wrote down, Day 16, Trader 1, that's it. I must have went to Trader 2 and 3 after the fact. Because I'm I'm noticing a lot of the same stuff at this Trader. As a matter of fact, I sold him all that stuff. I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, and I saw that chemistry station. Okay, I'm I'm convinced I definitely came to this trader again. All right, fair enough. Uh, we will sell though. Um, we'll buy the sugar butts as well. Should I use the sugar? Yeah, I should. There's no if ands or buts. I'm selling a good amount of stuff here, so we'll get that 10% increase. All right, and I don't have. I'm pretty sure I hit trader number three as well. So, okay. So what do we want to sell here? Uh, sell, sell. Yes, sell all of that. Oh, those... Oh, no, those are helmet lights. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, sell, 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 and I think we are good. All right, we're up to 17,000 dukes. Now, here's the question. Do I want to start hardcore saving for the Forget Elixir? No, I don't think I do. All right, do I care about Pistol Pete? Oh, not, pistols are not my thing. Yeah. Well, um, I probably won't ever be... Boy. Honestly, I probably won't even be using pistols. But what do you get for finishing up the tree? Yeah, that's... um, Yeah, that's not something I'm going to be needing. So I'm going to... Normally, I would just buy whatever book whatever book he sells. Because I'm trying. I'm a completionist. But I'm really trying to be stingy with my money. Your shotgun is I'm definitely going to buy. Uh, tactical assault rifles. You know, it's too much. It's too much. I'm not going to spend 10,000 dukes. I almost called them dinks. Eh. 10,000 dinks. All right, what do you got over here? Nothing. Just going through to make sure um, I didn't miss anything that I want to get. Nope, nothing there. Uh, do I want to buy those rifle parts? The thing is, I don't know how many rifle parts I have at home. I only need to make one. I need to check how many rifle parts I have at home. I think I have a lot. I'm going to hold off on those rifle parts for now. He will restock on day 19, so I still got another day to come here. If I don't have as many rifle parts as I would like. Alright, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh yeah, definitely want these. Yeah, 3200. It's worth it though. I don't have a lot of uh, stuff to fight infection um, on my character. So, gotta do it. Alright, that's no it. Refunds. Deal's done. Now beat it. How close am I to Trader 3? I think I'm going to hit the Trader 3, if nothing else, just to check the vending machine. Alright, this is the third Trader, and um, I don't recognize his stuff. I, I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't remember what Trader I went to, which one I didn't. So I'm gonna buy some stuff from this guy though, man. First aid band schematics, um, shotgun choke mod schematic. Yes, 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 yes. Um, sniper volume three headshots have a chance to stun, greater chance to dismember. Um, I like that pump shotgun, but it's really expensive. I am gonna buy some shotgun parts. Just I can't save any money because there's, there's so much stuff I need, you know. Uh, no, no, uh, no. I will buy the corn. I want to buy some grenades. Uh, 15 for 1660? Yeah, sure, I guess. Why not? Why not? Uh, do I want another cat? I do want another workbench, but. No, actually, I I'm okay with workbenches. Um, jars of honey, yes. We are now good on um, infection cures. So that's cool. All right, looking good. Our second door is almost finished. We're going to go ahead and place this door down now. Now, when I did this in my tech... Now, these doors cannot be broken up. Like, they can't be picked... Well, let me put it this way. The ones I spawned in from the cheat menu could not be picked up. All right, if I put this down and it can't be picked up, I'm spawning in another one because that's that's that ain't right. So I'm just letting you guys know that right off the bat. Um, I think I put it on from the outside. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Yep, that's exactly how I wanted to put it down. Yep. So, these doors are really cool, man. I wish I want powered versions of these. These doors are freaking dope. There's just, you know, there's just no powered version that I'm aware of. So, yeah, that looks awesome. All right, let's go let's start upgrading. Definitely going to start upgrading here. And we're going to go all the way to concrete. Now, it looks like I'm going to take over this barn... But I don't think I am. Um, I really don't need that much space. So what I'm going to do before we go any farther is I'm going to put myself a couple blocks in here. Just kind of, you know, just, yeah. We're not, we're not using the barn. Don't need it. I was thinking about using it, but if I was going to be doing a farming, you know, season where I'm going to farm, I might use the barn, but I just don't need it right now. Yeah, do I have my, uh... oh no, I need more. Okay, I need two more of these. Shutters. Two more. Yeah, and this is where the man. This is where that freaking nail gun would have come in nicely. 
It would have been one hit with the nail gun and upgrade. It would have been upgrade, 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 upgrade. But no, because I don't have a nail gun, I gotta use a stupid thing. <laughs> oh, this thing sucks. So slow. Why are you so slow, bro? Maybe I will leave these. Uh... I don't know. I might, I might leave this area open. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll like, I do want some part that's going to be inside. Maybe I'll do something like this and bring this out and make this an indoor part and leave this, this part out because I'm thinking like I could put something really cool over the walls and maybe make it look like a little bit of a castle type thing. I don't know. I'm going to think about it, but right now I'm doing exactly what I know I want to do. This is, this is not like, I'm not going to have to break any of this down. So that is awesome. And just leave it to the fun pimps to have, well, I guess the fun pimps don't make the, the buildings, but this building does not line up with this building. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. It drives me nuts. Oh God. I don't understand why they can't just line stuff up properly. I guess I should just let it go, <laughs> but I can't, I can't, man. It bothers me. Right, there we go and grab this. And then I think after this, now I'm going to, the stuff I'm standing right now, it will be dug out. I'm just not digging out right now. I only dug out what I absolutely had to, because I want to place down both of these doors. All right, so let's come up here. This section, this other door should be finished. So let's take a look. There we go. Beautiful. And I did, I, I'm going to leave them as walls. I'm going to leave them as walls. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm thinking I need to like go in, go downstairs and see break through this wall and see where it is. I'm thinking I'm going to leave this whole thing open. All right. Except for this part, which will stay the way it is. Uh, and we're just going to leave these walls the way they are. I think they're going to look really cool. Uh, ignore these blocks right here. I mean, I have a more, uh, a cooler way to get up there, but this is what I'm, this is what I'm looking at right here. And this is what it'll look like from outside. Yes. I definitely like that. Definitely like that. Although you wouldn't have like doors down here but, or windows, but that's okay. Don't really care. All right, so we need to do this from the outside. All right, and like so, and perfect. Wow, that went up perfectly. All right, I got a lot of upgrading to do. Oh boy, what am I at? 22,000 experience. You only get like a couple hundred per upgrade, but man, it really adds up. Right? It is a couple hundred per upgrade. 7, 23, 24, 24, 17. Yeah, about 163, 150 roughly. So that's not bad. Now you might be wondering why I left the spot open at the end of this hallway. That's going to be the, that's going to be a door, just a, a plain regular old door. We are almost done here. Then we get to do the castle building part of it, which is my my favorite part. Now I do I do still want to have some turrets out here to protect the doors, because you know I could put spikes everywhere, but I can't put spikes in front of doors. So I do want some turrets out here at some point to protect these doors. But like honestly, one shotgun turret up in the corner should be able to protect the door. I mean I don't expect to get any major major hordes around here. So okay, I'm gonna do that. And then this. And then we're good. We just gotta put the, uh, what are they called? Palisades or whatever? Then there's those other things that you can like lean over and drop lava and shit on people. Or not lava, but <laughs> boiling oil or whatever. I didn't, I decided not to put those in. It's not really, the, bo the wall's really not made for that. All right, so let's put this right here. Let's bring this down here. Let's go ahead and bring up regular blocks. All right. And then we come down here. We start right here. Every other. And then we start over here. 
And we are going to have to... Oh, boy. See, I do have railings here, so that's going to be... That's going to be awkward. Um, I guess we're not going to be doing railings. I thought I was going to be doing railings, but I guess not. We're going with the castle. We're going with the castle feel. Railings are pretty cool, but castles are cooler, right? I think so. So we're going to put that right there. And then this can go right here. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Copy shape. One. Okay, so that's the corner. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's going to work out. Cool. The reason I, I count them from the outside into the middle is simply because uh, if they don't match up, then I usually leave a gap in front. Like these two don't match up. That was even. So it, it wasn't going to match up. So I usually leave uh, an, an, an even part in the middle. You know what I mean? Or like maybe even three. Although I guess you wouldn't really need three. So I hope that makes sense. I always start from the outsides or work your way towards the middle because if it doesn't work out, the way you want it to, you can always uh, leave a gap in the in the middle. All right, this is coming out pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to just uh, upgrade what I have. We're not quite done here, but we're pretty close to being done. So I'm going to upgrade what I have, and we are going to call it a video for this one. Um, yeah, this has come out really nice. It's come out a lot way, way better than I thought it was going to, and that's always a good thing. I love when I start a build, and I'm like, hey, right, let's see how this comes out. I'm like, wow, I did not expect it to come out that good. Now, why am I putting a, a railing on the back of this? I don't know, because I feel like it. Um, the cool thing is I could just put some, like, stuff over here. I like the railing there. I know it doesn't make any sense because of the way the build is, but uh, it makes sense to me, and I like it. I think it looks good. So I'm going to leave it there. And I will probably upgrade the walkway to cobblestone, maybe. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Like I said, we're going to... We got a lot done today. All right, I got a lot done, like a way more done today than I thought I was going to. So I'm just going to leave this where it is right now and kind of, you know, drive back. Like, I got to drive home a couple times, you know, go out and do some quests, drive home a couple times and maybe have a horde night and then come back and be like, how do I feel about this now that I've been, you know, come home a couple times. And um, right now I kind of love it. Yeah, that looks pretty dope. So let me show you what I did over here. I made a staircase right here. Oops. Going up to the other side. And piece of cake. Love it. So let's get a feel what this place is like now. All right, come down from up there. Come over here. Oh my god, I'm being attacked. Blah, blah, blah. Let's fight, 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 fight. Whatever. I don't know. And then, oh no, they're attacking on this side. Fight, kill, maim, destroy. All right, time to go out. We hop on our bike. The only thing is these things aren't powered. So I have to open them up myself. But yeah, I really like this setup. This place looks freaking dope. It actually looks really cool at night, too. Even when it's raining. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.